hope you guys enjoyed it, baby. You know, it's gonna be a short video with packed with amazing information, like I always deliver, because that's who I am, baby. That's what I do. <laughs> but yeah, do what you gotta do, baby. Close the video, get on with your life, examine your beliefs, examine all these fucking ideas, if you're interested in them. If not, leave them in a corner of your mind and get on with your own shit. That's how it goes. Choices, always. But uh, thank you so much for watching, for having chosen to watch this video. I truly appreciate that. So uh, yeah, this has been Chip Renji. Thank you so much and I'm out, baby. This is Chip Renji at the present and precise moment of 24 April 2018, 12.49 am, documenting step number 46 out of the book Steps to Knowledge, channeled by Marshall Vine Summers. Step number 46, it's called uh, I must be small to be great. It's a two 15 minutes practice periods kind of step and it was done on the 23 April 2018 and I write. Okay, let me do some things here, some smooth transi transitions. <laughs> um, if you see little children acting in detrimental ways to themselves and others, simply going to tell to them as an adult and tell them to not act that way anymore won't solve anything. It may even make the situ situation worse, but going to them in an understanding manner explaining why they shouldn't act like that anymore from the same level of their experience and limited understanding then they will listen or perhaps continue in their acting and reap the results of those actions and then understand why you tried to help them this is really significant in a lot of ways but uh, yeah, we usually uh, like the way of saying, I mean, I have no children and I don't plan to have any, you know, short time period anyway. <laughs> I mean, I have children, just not physical ones. I, children can be perceived in many ways, but let's not get into that right now. No physical children. Okay. Um, the thing is that when children are learning and they, they are acting in a certain way that is unwanted maybe, if you just tell them to not do that thing anymore, then it won't help at all. You must, you must like lower yourself down to his level of understanding and then explain in a way that they understand why they shouldn't do those things not just that they shouldn't do them because everyone is curious by nature kids especially so if you tell them to not do one thing the, and not explaining why then they're probably actually gonna do that thing like yeah so in in, in trying to you know to talk about what we want to tell the world of, or whoever is, whoever we're trying, trying to talk to and make them understand something, a point, an idea or something, we shouldn't talk about it from our level of consciousness, from our level of experience, because probably they don't have the same level of experience. So we have to you know, I, I wouldn't, I don't want to say lower, but we have to <clears throat> to realize the level at which they are in terms of experience and then try to make the point for our idea, our 
point that we're trying to get across from that perspective so that they may understand the why and eventually how it works and stuff like that but the why is the most important uh, even if they do continue in that act and everything uh, the fact that you try to help them by explaining why they shouldn't do that anymore that will be of a lot of help to them later once they recognize the uh, once once they do recognize themselves the why but it's really important to be great to explain a great idea a great something you must be small as the ones that you're trying to make them understand baby that's so fucking deep Ooh, I fucking love it anyway let's go into my second point in order to recognize the heights of love we must experience the lows of love in order to recognize richness we must experience poorness in order to recognize abundance we must know lack in all examples of duality there is actually one force the same form of energy just the two extremes of we of of it that we focus on like in terms of hot and cold they're not different they're the same energy just one is more intense and the other is less intense but the energy is the same we just focus on one aspect of it at a time so if you focus on the the least dense part of that energy you're gonna experience cold if you're gonna focus on that the most high um, intensity of that energy then you're gonna experience hot in, in terms of it's an analogy it's a metaphor but I, I guess you get my point there are no two forces uh, there are just extremes of the one force there isn't good or bad that doesn't exist that's the way we perceive them because there is just good and there is just bad like good is good is all good bad is no good <laughs> does that make sense anyway I, I don't know maybe maybe i got across my point but that's how i see i see things and that's how i understood through research and personal experience i mean i, I didn't just read these things i mean i essentially read these things in some fucking book or somewhere but I'm not talking now about them because I just read them. I had to experience them firsthand and understand understand them myself. So yeah, but but yeah, this is another really good point and it's a really deep baby because you can see it everywhere. Good, bad, love, hate and everything there. It's just the aspect of that force that we focus on that we get. So that should be that should be yeah, that's pretty good that's really fucking good actually let's not be modest here <laughs> but yeah yeah uh, i guess that's what that was it that's how i perceive i must be small to be great uh that's how i perceive it that's how i thought of it that's number step that's step number 46 hope you guys enjoyed it baby you know it's gonna be a short video with packed with amazing information like i always deliver because that's who i am baby that's what i do <laughs> but yeah do what you gotta do baby close the video get on with your life examine your beliefs examine all these fucking ideas if you're interested in them if not leave them in a corner of your mind and get on with your own shit that's how it goes choices always but uh, thank you so much for watching for having chosen to watch this video i truly appreciate that so uh yeah this has been cheap ng thank you so much and i'm out baby
Bam. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Bam. <laughs>